Chelsea the Blues have signed 13 players this season. Six of them were signed in the winter transfer window and Chelsea chief Todd Bowley is looking forward to adding a few more marquee signings to their squad before the transfer window closes next week. Having signed Mikhailo Modric from Shakhtar Donetsk and Noni Madueke from PSV Hainovin to strengthen the attack, another key area the Blues have targeted to strengthen is the midfield. World Cup winner Enzo Fernandez, Brighton and Hove Wonder Kid, Moses Kaisedu, and Everton engine room Amadou Onana are some of the players Chelsea have targeted to revitalize their midfield. However, the respective clubs of these players are asking for astronomical sums before agreeing to sell these players to Chelsea. For this reason, Ghanaian midfield Dynamo Abdul Samet Salis, who plays his trade in the French League One for Lens, has been tossed to the mix. Actually, the Ghanaian isn't one of Chelsea's midfield targets. However, some renowned Ghanaian football personalities have used their social media popularity to tag Chelsea and recommend the Ghanaian midfielder to the English club, describing that he's a cheaper alternative to their main midfield targets Enzo Fernandez and Moses Caicedo, who are rumored £106 million and over £60 million respectively. Oreku Ampofo, who works with 3 Media as a sports journalist, wrote on his Facebook page three days ago Tagging Chelsea, that dear Chelsea Football Club, I know a midfielder who won't cost you 100 million. Lisa Warman, son of Angel FM, said Chelsea FC, like Michael Essien, who was a plan B and became a hit for us, don't let me talk too much. Get Abdul Samet Salis from RC Lanes, he won't cost you more than 30 million pounds. Now, the Tinker Man, Kweku Edelson of Wuntimi FM, also said, Hello, Arsenal and Chelsea, there's a better alternative to your pursuit of Moses Kaisedu. Abdul Samet Salis of Lens will cost less and provide similar qualities to what you are searching for. Of course, we would all like to see Abdul Samet Salis join Chelsea, one of the biggest clubs in Europe. This is in the 22 year old has established himself in the French Ligue 1 as one of the best midfielders in the league, also one of the best passers in the Ligue 1 this season according to statistics. By responding to recommendations from these journalists for Chelsea to sign Abdul Samet Salis, one popular Chelsea handle on Twitter called Vince thinks it will be unnecessary for Chelsea to sign Abdul Samet Salis as Chelsea already have players of his profile at the club. In a series of tweets, he explained why the 2020-2021 UEFA Champions League winners don't need to sign the Ghanaian midfielder despite his eye-catching performances this season. Now this is his reason. A lot of shouts for Salis Abdul Samet but for me, he's not what Chelsea need. I will explain. His strengths in short passing and dribbling. They are all good but it has to be productive. Or we may have another Georgino case. Samet completes less than two long passes per game. That means he is not heavy on switching play and spotting long balls. He needs to break lines often, but he tends to play safe, which explains the high passing success rate and lack of creative passes in the final third. No big chance created this season, and 0.6 key passes per game. For Chelsea, we have seen his game in Georgino and Kovacic, and how ineffective it can be. However, if you pair him with a midfielder who can order variety of skills, he will be good but we don't have those midfielders. My verdict is, he's not the profile needed at Chelsea. So the long and short of it is only one of the requirements for defensive midfielders. Comparing that to Chelsea primary targets Enzo Fernandez and Moses Caicedo, they do better when it comes to that. That's creating big chances aside their defensive midfield duties. Perhaps it's one of the shortcomings Abdul Samet Salis has to work on to become a complete package. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you have any opinion or comments, put it in the comment section under the video. We'll meet again in the next one. Bye for now.